Friends, let us observe unedited FACO of this white cataract. Does it look like an intumescent cataract? Probably yes, but it is not yet intumescent. Let us observe the surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus at around 135 degree axis. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision about same distance away. An air bubble is injected to fill up the anterior chamber. Beneath this air bubble, tripon blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. The dye should touch on all parts of the capsule. This is adrenaline. The pupil was not fully dilated in this case, so I applied a bit of adrenaline and it worked in this case. See, the pupil has dilated quite a bit after application of adrenaline. The dye has been washed out now. 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected to fill off the anterior chamber. And now is the time to do capsulorexis. And I am using a uterator forceps to do the rexis. Tear off the capsule, hold a tag, go anticlockwise, remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated paper, and I get a nice round rexis. Size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter. Now, hydro dissection is done. Little bit of hydro dissection is done in white cataracts. We can see only the forward movement of the lens mass. We cannot see the fluid wave. We must not inject a lot of fluid. There can be blowout rupture of the posterior capsule if we do that. So, only small amounts of PSS is injected and these cases can be done without hydro also. And now, the FECO needle goes in, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. The nucleus is rotated nicely and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. And now watch submarine jaw. The teeth goes into the substance of the nucleus. It moves through the nucleus towards the opposite equator. And the chopper, chopper is used in just in front of the fecondidal to divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. Each heminucleus is subdivided into two large fragments and then each nuclear fragment is emulsified with ultrasonic energy which is 65 percent in this case flow rate in this surgery is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and the machine being used is Oakley Catarex 3 this is the last nuclear piece. At this time, we have to be ex extra cautious. We must observe the anterior chamber stability. We may even go to FECO on mode and slowly emulsify this piece with very low vacuum. In this case, I kept the chopper to support the posterior capsule. And now, very little cortical lens matter is remaining in this case. Inject visco. In this case, I have used a 23G direct Simco cannula to remove the cortical lens matter. And see how easily the cortical cortex can be removed with a very slender. 23G Simco cannula.
so most of the cortical lens matter is removed the sub incisional cortex is removed going through the right side board a speck of cortex remaining at around 9 o'clock is removed going through the left side board and cortical clean off is complete and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens in this case I have used a B cartridge so I'm going to enlarge the main wound a bit just this much the main wound which was 2.8 millimeter has become about 3 millimeter now and now a monofocal single piece intraocular lens goes into the capsular bag both the haptics have gone into the capsular bag the trailing haptic goes into the capsular bag by a gentle push of the left hand instrument and now the irrigating probe is introduced through the main wound and the anterior chamber as well as the capsular bag is irrigated nicely this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now is the time to close the side ports. BSS is injected into corneal stroma on either side of these stab wounds and these stab incisions get closed. They become watertight. The main incision is constructed in such a way that it doesn't need any hydration for sealing. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. The intraocular pressure is kept on the higher side. This is formation of anterior chamber. And now few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will inspire you to become a great surgeon be a world-class surgeon and give vision to the blind get tremendous satisfaction when you give vision to a blind person we are really fortunate to be ophthalmologists. Thank you very much for your attention.